Hi, I'm Kathy Ciceri. For my mom's 90th birthday, I made her a customized musical card. I used Chibitronics LED stickers to light up the candles, and then I added a BBC Microbit programmable board that lets you blow the candles out, add any kind of scrolling message you like on its LED screen, and play music through its speaker. Here's how I did it. First thing we're going to do, we will start folding the cake so that it pops out like this. So the way we do that is where the dash lines are, that's where you're going to fold. So let's just fold that right up the middle there. You want to match the corners and if you have something like a bone folder you can use that to make your crease nice and sharp. If not, you can even use handles of your scissors. So next we're going to cut it and because the template is printed on the other side, we kind of have to look through the light to see where we're going to cut. To make it a little easier, you might want to just trace it onto the back. There's the solid lines that get cut and the dashed lines that get folded. Okay, that's all you need for that. And now we're going to start cutting. We'll start with the bottom layer of the cake and just cut on those solid lines. And then where that dash line is, we're going to fold it up and take your bone folder, whatever tool you have, and just make those creases nice and sharp. Then we're going to open the card again and bend the cake the opposite direction. And there's the first layer sticking out. Now the second layer, we're going to cut along these lines, but only in this part. We're not going to cut through the first layer. So holding it so you're only going to cut through that second layer. Cut the two solid lines and again fold up along the dotted line and make that a little straighter and make the crease nice and sharp. And again we're going to unfold it, open it up and fold it out the other way. Now we have two and then the same thing with that top layer. Just that fold there. I'm going to cut the sides, fold up along that dashed line, make a nice sharp crease, open it up and fold it out can press this down to make it stand up and you've got the cake part. Next we're going to put the circuit on the um, backing paper but what you might want to do this before you even put the tape down is cut out this little square here. That is going to be where you pass through the wire that connects the micro bit to the battery pack so that your card doesn't have to be connected to the computer to run. And I've already folded this, but it's going to get folded like that first. And then we will put the conductive tape down and start making our circuit. And now we're going to put on the circuit stickers.
Now we're going to add the circuit to the front of the card and we're going to leave a little bit of each piece of tape sticking out this hole in the back so that we can connect it with the circuit that is going to be on the backing paper. Okay, so it's a little tricky to get the tape through that hole there and I just put some of the that uh, shiny white paper back on there so the tape won't stick to anything until we want it to. And then I'm going to do the same with all of these other traces that connect our lights to our micro bit. At this point we're going to connect the circuit on the front of the card to the circuit that's on the back that has the lights and I think the easiest way to do that is to fold it closed and then we can see those ends of tape that we left there and we need to match these up to that. Well, let's make sure we've got it the right way and we can just do this. Let's take a quick look at the BBC Microbit. This is a little mini computer, sometimes known as a microcontroller. It has different kinds of outputs and inputs. The outputs include this grid of LED lights that can be made to show little animated designs and can scroll letters. And it also has a speaker on the back that you can play sounds or music out of. Then it also has inputs. It has a button on the back here. It has button A and button B there. It has um, a touch sensor. That's this logo. It has a tilt sensor built in. And you can do all kinds of cool things with it. These numbers on the bottom, these are pins where you can attach various things to the board. The 0, 1, and 2 pins can be programmed. The 3 volt, which we're not using for today's project, is just 3 volts of power coming out and the ground is where you attach the negative side of your component. So the negative part of the LED stickers will get connected to ground, the positive end will get connected to 0, 1, or 2, and then we will be able to program them to um, turn on and off, to get brighter and dimmer, and make some kinds of cool light effects with the LED stickers. To attach the micro bit to the card where it needs to go, I'm going to use some of these Barely Art QBs and the back of the micro bit has some pretty high components that we need to make clearance for. We also want to have clearance for the speaker so that we can hear the sound coming out. So we're going to use these little foam squares to lift the micro bit off of the surface of the card a little bit so we can hear the sound. Let's try using the bigger ones. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now again, this is where having some extra tape is going to come in handy. We're just going to use that to connect each pin to the trace that it needs to connect with. Once your micro bit is all set up, you're ready to program it with Microsoft MakeCode. Microsoft MakeCode is a free online programming software you can use with lots of different devices, including the Chibitronics Chibi Chip. MakeCode for Microbit works really well with the little miniature computer. You can see it's got a simulation of the board so that you can see what's going on as you work on your program. It's got a bunch of different types of blocks that you can use to build programs, and then it's got a workspace for you to put everything together. We've got five different little programs going on here and let's just go quickly around to see what they do. The on start 
starts running as soon as you turn the micro bit on with the on off switch or put the batteries in. The first two blocks come from the music menu. The first one sets the volume to make sure it's as loud as possible, just with this little slider. And the second one slows down the tempo of the song that we're going to use, which is Happy Birthday, to make it sound a little bit better. And then these last three blocks come from the pins menu. And if you don't see it when you open up your screen, you need to click on the advanced. The pins are these little circles down here. And as you remember, we attached one of the LED stickers to each of these pins. And now we're setting them for how bright we want them to be. And we're telling the little computer how to do that by telling it how much power to send to each one. And again, you get a little slider. So you can put it anywhere between zero and 1023. This one's on the little high end, one in the middle is the low end, and the one on the end is somewhere in the middle so you can see the different levels. So how do we get these lights to turn off? Right now there are different brightnesses. Well, we use the sound sensor, also known as a microphone, and we get that from the input block menu right here. You have to scroll down a little bit. It's in the micro bit version two, and you just Click on it, drag it, fill it with whatever blocks you want, and then it's ready to go. But if you've got more than one, you need to get rid of one of them. So let's just delete that one. So here you see the same kind of pin blocks that we had before, except now it's setting pin zero, pin one, pin two to zero, meaning no power so that it turns those lights off when you hear the sound. And let's just look at the simulation really quick. This is a sliding scale that will simulate a loud sound and when it goes up you see those lights go off. So how do we turn them on again? Well we have another input. This is the on logo touch. The logo is this little metal design here and on your actual board when you touch it with your finger that's enough to make it turn on. With the uh, simulation you need to click on it and this should turn the lights back on. It's also going to show the number 90 and exclamation point because this is the program I wrote for my mother's 90th birthday card. So how did we get it to play the music? That was with button A which is over here. So there's a little bit of a pause then it plays a melody. I grabbed that from the music menu which was right down here and this gives you, let's see where I can stick this to just show you bunch of different songs. One of them was the birthday song, so that's what I chose. And then setting it to play in the background means that it's going to keep playing even when the board is doing something else. In this case, showing a string that says, Happy Birthday, Dad. That's my mom's name. This came from BASIC, which is some beginning blocks you can use. A string is just a bunch of characters. It could be numbers and letters. It's just things that are going to show up on the little LED screen. So let's see in our simulation what happens when I press button A. You can see the word happy scrolling by and I've got the volume turned off. Let's see if you can hear it if I unmute it. I'm not sure that's going to work. Oh, there we go. And then I'm going to mute that again. So that just stops when it's done playing. You can see some of these lights are on again, so let's turn them off. I've got a uh, little fail safe in case you want the lights off when they're on. You can just push button B, so let's try that. And that turns those lights off. So that's how this Make Code program works. It's really simple. You can use the link that's in the show notes and the uh, blog post on Shibitronics website to find this program and play around with it yourself. Once you've got your make code program written, you can download it to the micro bit by plugging in the USB cable. Before we finish, I'm just going to attach the battery pack. Next, I get a battery pack that has an on off switch. The little hole that we cut is where we're going to stick the battery pack through and that gets snapped into that white plug there. And again, I'm going to take some double-sided tape and just attach that right there.
table. There, so that makes a nice stand. And if you want your card to fold up, for instance, if you're mailing it in an envelope, you might want to have the um, micro bit not attached at that point because it will not fold up quite as tiny. Although you probably could get this into a soft shipping envelope pretty easily. And there you have it. A pop-up musical blowout candle card. Enjoy!